Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing our fourth and final part of the build of the Lego Batman movie Arkham Asylum set. Um, so we have quite a bit built. We're working on the final wing of the, the asylum, but over here we already have a good portion of the asylum built. If you missed any of the parts, if you want to get caught up on where we're at, check out the links I have down below. Right now we're going to move on to bags seven. There's three bags of number seven parts. Put that out there. That looks good. Maybe two smaller bags. All right. So those are open and ready to go. So let's start on the inside here. Move these minifigures out of the way. So we're going to start with some jumper tiles back here in the middle. Turn it back around and continue building the walls up. Pretty straightforward build. I was mentioning that in the previous video. There really hasn't been anything overly complicated about the build. Definitely recommend it if you have a younger kid that's interested in a big set, this is probably a good one for them. One, two, one. Definitely is a big set as far as part quantity building up to be pretty big as well as you know size wise but I would say overall it's I don't know not super super big Here we have a tall sloped brick. This is pretty much the identical outside as we did on the other wing. Okay, looks good. Making sure I'm not missing anything. All right, so we have a tall window with the clear plastic to represent the window glass. One there, one over here. At the shorter black one. So it gets the window glass. plates before we get too far. Get those on. Okay. Some more bricks. One by two, one by three. One 
by four. And just like the other side, we have the little plate that has the rounded end and the clip. That's really a bar, a bar that you can clip something to. All right, now we have our standard jail cell window detail. round window and this is like I said repeating all the steps from um, our last video where we completed the other portion of this what goes there Inside here, we're gonna put these tall bricks. On the outside, we're also gonna have the tall brick, but it's gonna have a stud on it. Just like that. two inverted slopes, there's one, there's two, right in here and a palisade this is our last palisade brick and one by four okay looking good so far so we have a brick it's gonna go on those inverted slopes black plates there we have the rail plate double slopes and the clips and the clips are what the roof portion is going to attach to now we're going to begin the gable roof area Still confused why they do this little detail on the front. It shows that brown plate and a dark red plate, but it more or less is the same shape as putting those three pieces on. So we put on 
three, four, five. We actually put on two extra pieces to create the same shape. And I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the actual asylum as far as in the comic book. So does it really have a red stripe across there? Not, someone, someone can tell me. I've, I've, I've got to be missing something. I don't know why that detail is like that. So if somebody knows, let me know. stacked up top it off with a couple plates over here we have this same detail we've been using throughout the whole set so it's really to the point where I'm building it pretty quick because I kind of know what's going on roof slopes going on here do our roof pieces side turn it over it only has one little cheese slope piece that will go there and we have our rooftop chimney piece This is just like the other sides. We have our brackets with the slotted tiles. And the black cone shapes. Just like the other side. Let's see if I bring this over, put them side by side. Pretty much identical. I did the whole thing if I start to put it side by side. Looks identical because it pretty much is just a mirrored version of what we built on the other side. So we have these window pieces. They're gonna go up here. slope detail and honestly I, I could do without this one I don't like the way that these backside studs are exposed or what's called the anti stud I'm not really digging that look but I mean they're just kind of uh, I applaud the designers for giving you options Showing you different ways to build stuff. So now we have our 
little finale details. Just like that. Cool. So move that to the side. Looks like we have a accessory piece to build. straight. We're going to put a phone on both sides. So this is where visitors can come by and talk to the prisoners. It's kind of fragile. around it looks like this goes right there so that's where visitors go to talk to the prisoners we have another security camera same detail we've seen throughout the set and another camera camera Again, I think this is the third one that we've built for the set. All right, so we can bring this over. This piece goes there. This one goes right there. And that completes the main building of the asylum. Now we do have another bag, bag number eight, and that will be building the, um, the watchtower. Let me go ahead and move this box out of the way so it doesn't conflict with everything we're looking at. So now these pieces, they don't like snap on to the main portion there. Um, so we slide it around, you have to actually hold on to everything at the same time and slide it. All right, so I'm gonna point this down because we have one more bag to go. It's bag number eight. Okay, we have everything for bag eight dumped out. We do have our final minifigure to build. And it's just one of the asylum guards. Female. She has an angry face and she has kind of a worried face. I'm going to do the angry face. She's not holding on to anything. That's our last minifigure. Very good. So now let's begin this watchtower. Let's start with. These corner panels. And two of the tall one by bricks.
we have a life preserver on this piece here. But I imagine that's a basketball goal, maybe. That they can do some outdoor exercise. Put on a couple brackets. that in place. We have a tile and we're going to put a sticker on it. So this sticker kind of confirms what I was thinking. So it's a sticker of a backboard. So there's a little basketball hoop. All right. Add some more of these pieces to continue to build up the tower. Putting these panels and tall bricks on really helps build something very quickly, especially in a vertical fashion. So out a bit, now we have the brown ones. of these clips on the tiles. <clears throat> these tiles are going to get stickers. It's basically a big display screen on the side of the tower. It says lockdown. See the way that hangs there. This other one's going to go on the other side. Just like that. Right, so we have one more that will go on the front. This one just says Arkham Asylum. In case you didn't know where you're at, they put that there. Bring this up some, so we're going to keep on building up. This is the last of the corner panels. So we're getting pretty close to the top here. bricks with little bars on the side and we have these little crates with a red tile on it. Oops, that one slipped out of my hand. These are gonna get stickers on them. Crates of TNT in the tower for some reason. Looks like someone's up to no good and put those up there. This tower does seem a little shaky, so you have to be careful while putting this together so you don't knock it over. have these what looks like speakers or loud megaphone type speakers there's no light piece on it so I don't think it's a light
This is the watch platform, the very top. Alright, so we're going to put these black window frames, but there's no window in them. It's just open air frame. these plates. Ah, I nearly broke the tower in half. It's very, very flimsy, honestly. Okay, so looking back this way, have some white bricks, black slope, and white slope. corner slopes. Finish it off with some more of the white. The white is representing the snow. So there's a little bit of snow left over from winter that is on here. Alright, that's that. Bring this back down. We have a little sub accessory piece to build. a little table, a table and stools, this last little piece, this is a little workout area. I have a bench with some weights on this bar. And then they show these two pieces as little dumbbells that you can work out with. All right. So that completes the build of the Lego Batman movie Arkham Asylum. So let's kind of do this number so we can see everything going on here. I'm going to have to move this out. There we go. This will allow me to show off everything. So obviously you just saw this piece. Here's the tower. It's very, very tall. Go ahead and put in a worker in there. Let's see, she can watch over the prisoners. We'll bring this over very carefully. There we go. Actually, yeah, remember these things don't connect to each other. They more or less just sit right next to them. Which I don't like that. It's kind of a design flaw in my opinion. All right. So we have our police car, which if you've seen the, the box art of this, you know that that's one of the cool little accessories of this set. Um, we have Two-Face, we have the Riddler, we have Harley Quinn in disguise as one of the doctors. Here is... Robin, he's holding the um, Phantom Zone gun. 
Barbara Gordon. We have Joker in his handcuffs because he surrendered. Catwoman. Poison Ivy. I got a room here. There's so many minifigures. Oh, and there's a there's a police officer in there. Um, we have this guy. Oh, I always forget his name. Look on the box. It is um, Aaron Cash. And last but not least, we have Batman. The whole reason why this set was created, right? So there you go. That is really, really awesome. Um, big set. I love the details of um, the build. There's some things that I think are could open for improvement, like the way that it, the, the two sides are connected to the main portion. I think that could have used a little bit of, um, I guess, redevelopment or, or something. But from looking on the outside, it looks really cool. Um, it's not quite complete. I mean... Like all superhero sets in general, if it's a building or any type of play, play set like this, they leave it all open and half complete. So it's really left open for you to kind of use your imagination and or, you know, complete it, build, build more onto it and build a whole big asylum. So that's it for this one. Put a comment down below. Tell me if you watched all the parts. Let me know if you like this set. What's your favorite part about it? And if you're going to be getting it or if you already have it for that matter. So thanks again and we will see you in the next one.